I can live anywhere I want to. You know why I live in this neighborhood? Availability. I want to stay close to everything. Because being on the spot, I can see trouble immediately. Trouble is like a cancer. You got to get it early. If you don't get it early, it gets too big, then it kills you. That's why you got to cut it out. Kabish? Huh? That's what it comes down to, availability. The people in this neighborhood that see me every day that are on my side, they feel safe because they know I'm close. And that gives them more reason to love me. But the people that want to do otherwise, they think twice because they know I'm close. And that gives them more reason to fear me. Is it better to be loved or feared? That's a good question. It's nice to be both, but it's very difficult. But if I had my choice, I would rather be feared. So there you go, Rudy Giuliani just shut him down. Saw that shit? So Rudy Giuliani said that uh, Trump will not, will not, under no circumstances, speak to Robert Mueller about any Russia nonsense. Reported last night about 12 hours ago. So that's big because there's no more, no more uh, fake Russia nonsense, right? So what is Trump playing? What is Trump thinking in this one? I think it's pretty obvious. What Trump is, is doing is that he knows Kavanaugh, the Supreme Court pick, is going to get, he's going to get in, right? That's, that looks like it's going to happen, right? So now Trump has his previous pick and this guy, right? That makes a 5-4 decision in the Supreme Court. So why is that important? Because if Mueller wants to advance the ball and force Trump to speak under subpoena, then he would have to get, and Trump says no, he would have to get a, a, a Supreme Court ruling <laughs> to get it done, right? And that ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Fuck you. No, that's, it's not gonna happen, right? So, Giuliani, I said it, look, roll my tape back. You know, am I, am I the powerful psychic predicting this shit? No. Giuliani plays hardball. These guys don't fuck around. Right? The real deal. That's why Trump has is, is, is got Giuliani. Giuliani is, is the man, the man of the hour, right? New York politics, my people. Right? Right? They're not sissies. They're not gonna they're not gonna take that shit, you know, from from uh, the loony left. Look, the, the Russian thing is 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 fake. It's fake news par excellence. That's what it is. It, it's a, a way for the left, they're fighting over power and position. Now, don't get too happy about yourselves because guess what? It's a position, it's a fight over power and position, which means that ultimately, in my view, the people lose, right? Because they're not talking about policy. They're talking about power grab. And right now, they're getting attacked from the left, right? They're getting attacked from the left because the left wants their money back. They want power. And Trump's people, who still believe in this fake trickle-down economics theory that trickled down from Reagan and failed to trickle down to the American people, right? It's, a, it's, 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 a, it's an argument between economics. Now, it's garbage. It's garbage, right? That's really what it is. It's a, it's a story of, it's a story of uh, 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 liberals so invested and so left themselves so open that they thought they had a guaranteed president, Hillary, right? And when when the guy from Queens came along, Mr. Trump and handed them their ass on a silver platter and took the election. However he did it is not the point. He's the sitting president, right? All of their donors, right? That's really, again, it always comes back to the money, the oligarchy. Those guys are pissed off, right? They look at, look, evidence is in the, in the Supreme Court pick. Liberals said, I don't want them. They don't want that guy. Why? Because Trump is picking him and Trump will have then control of the Supreme Court, right? Right? He, he's going to successfully five to four vote, right? So if Kavanaugh is, is appointed, which it looks like he will, then Trump 
could safely tell, you know, tell Mueller and his team to F off because he's not going to speak to him on a fake story. There's no evidence. This, it's, it's a fake story. The idea is to get Trump to, to answer questions and then they, they jump him with a obstruction of justice, justice charge because there's nothing else, right? And it's very easy to catch someone fibbing a lie, but it also drags out a fake investigation for, you know, days and months and years and diverts the people's attention away from the main problems. And what are those main problems? The main problems is that, you know, one in seven people are on food stamps, that, that 70% of the country doesn't have $400 to their name, that we have an inflated military spending of $700 billion in a country and we don't have an enemy. That corporations don't pay a nickel in tax, do not reciprocate one iota back to the people that they were you know, supposed to trickle down to. Right? So that's really what's going on. It's a big, ugly story. But you gotta, yeah, I mean, you gotta love, you gotta love, love Trump's ability to, and with with the assistance of Rudy, Rudy Giuliani in this case, to get the, to advance the ball, and shut down the. Mueller investigation. I think, I think the, I mean, I don't follow the story because I think it's rather ridiculous, the whole Russian collusion that we're even still talking about, something so ridiculous that, that the word collusion evolved out of the Hillary Clinton campaign where they colluded with the media. That's where the word was born. And then they, they flipped it to Trump colluding with Russia, right? I think more important than, than Russia right now is China, who, who is actively taking over Ru Africa. They don't, they've all, they're investing so, mu investing so much money, and they have been for the last bunch of years, stealthily, because China, China will never take money off the table. China will say, we, they don't care about human rights in a country like Africa. They don't care. As long as they make a profit, they're, they're good. They're good to go, right? Whereas the United States, oh, it's got a, this human rights and all this shit, right? But meanwhile, they, they're stealing elections in their hometown. They're, you know, they, they're just trying to silence people. U.S. government, not, the, not us, the people. But the, the people that have hijacked our politics, have a, hijacked our House and our Senate, right? There's the real problem, right? With, I mean, China's taken over Africa and... You know, they stay competitive in that way. And the U.S. can't, can't compete with any of these things. But that's, I divert. So, so Mueller, it's safe to say that the Russia investigation, the fake Russia investigation into, did Trump collude with the Russians, is pretty much over with the pick of Kavanaugh, right? Because it's, it's, a, it's dead in the water. Trump has said, no way, we're not speaking to these guys. We're not speaking to no Mueller, uh, you know, so he could set us up with entrapment. The media and the, the, the mindset of the American people has already flipped away from this. Because nobody believes it. There's no evidence. They never provided any evidence to suggest that Trump colluded, illegally colluded with Russian people to overthrow an election, right? Nobody believes it. So Mueller would then have to get a Supreme Court ruling to overturn, to, to get a subpoena. And he's not going to do it with a 5-4 majority, uh, Trump's 5-4 majority in, in the Supreme Court. So it's safe to say today that the, the fake Russia story ends here. Thank you, Rudy Giuliani. Good job. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly support this channel, this um, uh, YouTube channel, uh, via Patreon or uh, uh, PayPal. Buy stickers, too. They're beautiful. You're going to love them. Thank you very much.